Hi everyone, I am Navashni Natsuri and today I'm going to be presenting about the electronic keyboard. So before we start, here's a little information about myself. I am a rising freshman at James Logan High School. I'm a level 6 Royal Conservatory pianist and I am playing clarinet in the Tri-City Band Corps. I enjoy art, tennis, coding, and fencing. So how is the electronic keyboard special? Well, first, it doesn't require tuning like a normal piano does. It uses software interface to produce sound and can store information within the keyboard itself. It can recreate a wide range of sounds and instruments, not just the piano. So it can make the sounds of a violin or a flute. Um, so essentially, it's a multi-instrument band by itself. Um, it has many features to aid in music arrangement, such as advanced MIDI, which we'll be covering in the future slides. So first, we'll start with the history of the electronic keyboard. So obviously, it originated from the piano. Um, Yamaha, a company that made reed organs, a type of piano, since 1887, they made the first electric organ in 1959 called the D1 Electron. So th that was a first form of an electric piano or electric keyboard. So as technology developed, Casio and Roland followed with the manufacturing of actual electric keyboards, such as the Casio Tone 201 and the Roland TR-808. They had ad additional features and improved MIDI. So making sounds electronically. There are two main ways that electric keyboards produce these sounds. Um, the first is through sampling. So sampling sound is a process of converting a sound wave into a signal. Um, what they basically do is record the sounds of real music instruments or sound effects with the microphone to recreate these sounds electronically. So you see in this picture, there is um, a lot of microphones uh, recording this grand piano and they will use um, filters to input that into the keyboard. So um, in sampling, instead of sounds being created by synthesizers, these samples or digital recordings of sounds, they are played back and shaped with components such as filters and inputted into the keyboard. Um, the second uh, form of electric sound is the sound synthesis. So sound synthesis is the technique of generating sound using electronic hardware or software from scratch. So they don't record real life instruments. They create these sounds through um, electric hardware or software. Um, what they basically do is manipulate the sound source from a digital tone generator to mimic real world sounds or create entirely new ones. So as you can see in this picture, there is a lot of boxes with buttons and wires and they're all connected to this keyboard over here and they are used to um, synthesize uh, sounds and generate it using um, electric uh, wave signals. Um, so additional information about the sound, synthesi the sound synthesis, these synthesizers modulate between digital representations of different waveforms changing the shape and timbre, or basically how it sounds. So there are different forms of sound synthesis, such as subtractive, additive, and FM, or frequency modulation synthesis. So differences between the pianos. Most of you all probably thought that electric keyboard is pretty much the same thing as a normal piano, but there's actually a big difference between um, like there's a huge variety of different pianos. So the first is the acoustic piano or the standard piano. Um, that is, uh, it goes by a lot of names. It's a grand piano essentially, and it uses no software. Um, so no software is needed to produce the sound. It only uses the hammer string hardware to make the sound. Um, that, the standard piano is different from the electric piano because the electric piano is just a cheaper replacement for the standard piano. It mimics all the functions of a regular piano um, and typically does not have extra, key, extra features. So 
the extra features part is what differentiates it from an electric keyboard. So the electric keyboard, it produces the sound of piano as well as other instruments. They can produce even non-musical sounds such as um, bottle blowing or even tiger roars. Um, these keyboards are sometimes connected to external devices for mixing and layering tracks. So that's all the differences between that and the electric piano. Um, a subset of the electric keyboard is a synthesizer. Um, a synthesizer is smaller than the electric keyboard and does not have a full range. So it's like really small and it's, um, it's small because it's only used to produce synthesizer or electric sounds. Most of the work is definitely done in external devices and is not regularly used as a piano like the keyboard. Um, it is used much more often than the electric keyboard through external devices and is used to compile different sounds. Okay, so parts of a keyboard. Um, this, is, this diagram is taken from a manual from my own keyboard. Um, so the red box with buttons in it, um, that includes the power button and the start and stop to um, control the metronome or the playback of some of the songs stored in the keyboard. Um, the blue box has the tempo changer and uh, the metronome. It's, this is the button for the metronome. Um, the green button is the bank. So there's a song bank, there's a tone bank, um, there's a rhythm bank. Um, there's also an input card or um, where you can like load or save your own um, tones or songs. You can store it within the keyboard itself and it will play it back for you. So these red buttons are used to control um, the banks. So if you want, it says listen, watch, remember. So those are the things when you're inputting your own music into the keyboard, you use these buttons to control that. Um, this blue box over here contains the split and layer buttons. The split, uh, the split button can split sounds and the layer button can actually add sounds on top of each other to create like one unanimous sound. So how does this all work? So the electric keyboard essentially has a user interface software and it's the program used to control the keyboard um, via the menu. Um, there is a computerized musical arranger. Um, that is the software which is stored in the keyboard and that produces the sounds and the rhythm. There's obviously speakers and amplifiers and they manage the sound input and output. Um, the power supply and MIDI terminals, they're used to power the keyboard and connect it to external devices such as mixers and computers. So the MIDI is short for Musical Instrument Digital Interface and um, these terminals are a way to connect devices that make and control sounds, synthesizers or computers, um, to the actual keyboard. So they communicate with each other through MIDI messages. So what can electric keyboards do? Well, they can do a lot of things. Um, you can use two keyboards um, and split them, so one on the top and one at the bottom. Set it to do two different sounds and play it um, at the same time. Um, there's also many different sound banks, as I already mentioned. There is auto accompaniment, which is used, um, is very helpful for musical arrangement. If you, it can automatically input chords according to your key. Um, there's aftertouch, which is the sound, if it extends the sound um, after you press the key. Um, certain instruments don't have aftertouch because based on real life, so if you have a violin, when you let go of the bow, the note immediately stops. Same, um, that applies to the electric keyboard violin as well. So there's also one key, uh, there's also pitch bend. Um, which is a little knob on the side which changes the pitch of a note by one key um, up or down. The one key pitch transposition can change the entire key of the keyboard itself and uh, you don't have to play sharps or flats um, if you switch the keys. Um, there's a lot of digital effects that you can play on the electric keyboard and there's also rem remote playing through the MIDI. 
So demonstration pieces would include In This Together by Stephen Price, arranged by Johnny Q, and that demonstrates layer sounds, and Wolves, which I will be playing by Selena Gomez, um, arranged by Johnny Q, and that demonstrates synthesizer sounds. So in this clip, um, you will see um, me using uh, layer sounds to back up my vocals. Okay, so I used layers um, of synthesizer, the synthesizer vo voices with the strings, and I made that like one sound. Okay, okay and I will be playing this uh, synthesizer sample um, on my keyboard right now. So that was an example of what a synthesizer sound would sound like on a keyboard. Um, here's a video of professionals using keyboard techniques. Um, and so the first two clips I will show are different and unique sounds that you can play on a keyboard. So. Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato on today's... Um, here's another uh, sample of different or unique sounds. Okay, so the next clip I will show is them playing on a, an electric organ. Okay, and the last clip I will show is um, the keyboard being used in harmony with other instruments. Okay. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.